Hey everyone, Bill Peluso, Peluso Plays Drums here, back with another video for you. Thanks again for checking out the video and checking out the channel. I appreciate it so much. If you like what I do and what you see here, please like and subscribe. Today I want to talk more about the 16th note grid, this time discussing the third line and building on the last two videos. But before we get into it, you know I have to give a big shout out to Jim Dykus of Far Horizon Productions for producing and editing this video. It's a ton of work, and he always does a great job with it, so make sure to check him out and hit him up for all your video editing and production needs. All right, let's dive right in. In my last two videos, we talked about the first and second line of the 16th note grid, and today we're going to expand on that and talk about the third line, which encompasses all the combinations using three 16th notes per quarter note, which are one E end, E end a, uh, one and a, uh, and one e a. Uh. In the following clips, I will demonstrate each of these examples in the bass drum as part of the beat, with eighth notes on the hi-hat and the snare drum on two and four. Like I've mentioned in the last two videos when discussing this, this is just one way to apply this concept to your playing, but it is a good place to start no matter your age, skill level, or playing style. In these next examples, I will demonstrate combining two different grid patterns in a beat using patterns from the previous examples that I've just played. In the first example, I will be playing the one on beat one and the one E uh on beat three. In the second example, I will be combining two different three note grid patterns into a beat playing one E end on beat one and one E uh on beat three all the while keeping two and four on the snare drum and eighth notes in the hi-hat. Like I mentioned many times, there are endless possibilities to this. And once you start working with and understanding the 16th note grid in this way, you will notice examples of this in music you are listening to and playing all the time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something you can use or inspired to practice or are now interested to learn more about the subject. 
Please don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions or want to learn more. I would love to help you. I respond to messages on whatever channel you're watching this on, whether IG, Facebook, or YouTube. So feel free to message or comment down below. Thanks again for tuning in. Click subscribe on YouTube and check me out on IG and Facebook at Paluso Plays Drums. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.